Hello and welcome friends. Today I will show you how to install and configure VNC server on your Red Hat machine. The first step in the installation is we have to check if the VNC package is installed on your machine or not. So let's check if the VNC is installed or not. So it's already there. By default in all Red Hat machines VNC is generally present. If it's not present you can download the VNC RPM and install it using the following command. The second step is to set the password for the VNC. Let's set the password. Enter the password, verify and it's done. The third step is to edit the configuration file of the VNC server which is present in slash etc slash sysconfig VNC server. You need to edit this file for adding the users to the VNC. So let's edit this file. So here you can see these two lines VNC server and the line below it these two lines are the configuration for your user the first line represents your username and one represents your first uh, so the first user so I'll, I'll add root here as the first user and the second line is for the geometry that is the screen size of your remote connection so here you can add multiple users if you are having some another user you want to access your VN your remote desktop from for from that user so you can add here if so example if you are having some user such as Oracle you can just copy those two lines and paste it here and you have to cha do some changes you have to make it the second user write the second and followed by your username and you have to change the geometry for the second screen also I don't have any oracle user here so I will remove these two lines and go with the root user configuration. So let's save this file. Now the third step is to start your VNC server. So let's start the VNC server. So it's starting with the first user which we have added that is root and is successfully started. Once you have started the VNC it will create a directory naming .vnc in the home folder where you will find all your startup scripts, your log files and the password file. So let's check the directory. If you can find the log file, your password file, let's check the password file. As you can see some, en some encrypted data and there is an X startup that we are startup script for the VNC. There is one another step up. So once you have started the VNC, VNC will create the directory as well as it will open three ports 5801, 5901 and 6001. Your 5801 will be for your client connection over HTTP. Your 5901 will be the client connection over RFB protocol and your 6001 will be for your X applications connectivity. If you want to configure VNC at the startup or start the VNC on the startup, use this command. The fifth step, the most important step is if you want to configure your remote desktop uh, session to behave normally as your desktop or you normally what you see if you log into your Red Hat machine, you need to do some configuration changes in the X startup file. Let's edit this file. So you have to remove the that it's written that uncomment the following line for normal desktop operation. So uncomment these two lines. So once it's uncommented, you need to restart the VNC once again. 
So let's restart VNC once again. So now your every configuration of VNC is done, but there is one little step you need to do. You need to add the three ports that is 5801, 5901 and 6001 to the firewall exception to allow the connection pass through the firewall or you can simply stop the firewall so I'll here simply stop the firewall by stopping the IP table service once it's done now you can connect to your VNC remote desktop through VNC using your browser or your VNC viewer you can use any java enabled browser also for connecting to your remote desktop using your 5801 port so let's connect it enter the IP address of your machine followed by colon and your 5801 port number once you hit enter it will open up a VMC prompt here you need to enter IP address colon and one one is for first user that is the root which we have added ok enter the password yeah it's working fine your remote desktop is now connected you can also use your VNC viewer you can download the VNC viewer from the VNC website and install it to your to, on your desktop and you can also connect your remote desktop using the VNC viewer so let's check it out how to connect from VNC viewer your IP address followed by the first user Oracle. If you have multiple users, you can enter two, three, whichever you have configured. So it's working also. So that's that finishes the configuration of the VNC server. Thanks for watching my video. And if you want more videos, you can visit my web my YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash technology layer. Once again, thanks for watching. Good day.